wearing personality who didn't make the final cut on the Apprentice reality show, but many people remember him well. He's now running for a Pennsylvania congressional seat, and border security is one of his biggest issues. And he set out to prove the problem and take a look a very unusual way. This is the state of U.S. border security. Here I am on the Rio Grande, having just come across in an elephant with a mariachi band playing. And there's nobody here. Play on, boys. <laughs> And Raj joins us now. Raj, you're great. First of all, where did you get the elephant and the mariachi band? You know, it's remarkably easy to come across in America a mariachi band and an elephant. Easier than I thought. Sure as heck easier to splash around in the Rio Grande than I ever imagined. <laughs> How did you come up with this idea to prove your point? Well, Rita, I was standing at the U.S.-Mexico border, watched the guy literally under the U.S. bridge walk across. We chased him down. You know, and at the end of the day, I realized you can probably get an elephant across this. You can probably get an elephant and have a mariachi band play, and no one will come. That's exactly what I ha what happened. Yeah, and how, how was it riding the elephant? I, I actually rode one in Zimbabwe a couple of years ago. How did you like that experience? It's interesting. I think a Cadillac has a little bit of a better ride, though. I agree. You know, and speaking of uh, plans and, and metal, you know, the U.S. is planning on building a 700-mile fence. That's President Bush's plan. Of course, a lot of people are contesting it. What do you think of the whole border issue? I mean, is that going to be effective, or do you think something else needs to be done? Well, I think the situation is such that border security is really a joke. I think we demonstrated that with, you know, elephants and mariachi bands. Uh, that's the fact of the matter. What we need to do is to secure the border because you're talking, for example, Rita, about North Korea. Uh, we're talking about Iran. We've spent nearly a trillion dollars in the name of fighting terrorism over the past five years. Numerous foreign uh, excursions, blood and treasure spent copiously. And yet at the same time, if I can do that on the U.S. border with Mexico, I think it quite reasonable uh, that a terrorist can get across uh, with a weapon of mass destruction, potential, potentially a thermonuclear device. And so while we're using a joke, while we're using satire, there's a deadly serious point here that I think we're losing focus of the issue. So we need a fence and we also need to go uh, in a more high tech area to secure the border. It's not anti-immigration, Reed. It's very important. I mean, I think we need immigration. Let me show you. In fact, you've got some great clips here. Your stuff is really amazing. In one part, you follow a Mexican man who illegally crosses right next to a group of border patrol guards. I want to show this because this is pretty strong stuff. And I'll get you to react. Hold on. Senor. Senor. Do you want some citizens? Por favor. Los Estados Unidos? Right under. This man crossed the border right in the face. I mean, this is this is the secure the border situation. Oh my God! Here, shoulder. Come here. Here is the situation. But look at this. Look at this. Here is our border crossing. And this is the situation that we have. We have five, six border security people, and we have absolutely no situation. We have a real problem in this country. And, you know, the border agents actually finally caught up with that guy. But, you know, it looked like a relatively busy area. I've been down at the border a lot of times. What does this incident say to you about border security? What was your reaction when you saw that guy? My reaction was, let's get a mariachi band and cross an elephant. Because if he can do it, we can do it with an elephant a mile away. Yeah, well, truly. What uh, was the reaction from other people, Raj, when, you know, as we're looking at this video, you on the elephant, the mariachi band. Let's put up the music, too, because they're pretty loud. Let's play it. Some people will say that we've made a circus of border security and politics. <laughs> you can hear, I mean, you're loud. Uh, you're right there on the border. What were, what were the reactions of any passers-by? Well, you know, there really weren't too many passers-by there. I mean, it's, it's not the most uh, highly populated area uh, at the end of the day. But I was truly, it was shock. It was shock on my own part. And what did the border there. agent say to you afterwards when you said, look, I was there. Here's the video. What was their reaction? Were they embarrassed? I don't think they're uh, particularly uh, proud uh, at the moment of the state of affairs. I don't think it's necessarily the fault of, uh, of, our, of our border security forces. It's a misguided, 
policy at the national government level and it's political corruption read on both sides that don't want to deal with the border. And Raj, we just got two seconds left. What do you think your chances are winning? You're running for Pennsylvania congressional seat. I'll put it this way. My chances of winning the seat are far greater than ever having made it on The Apprentice. So I think we're <laughs> going to do very well. Well, we wish you a lot of luck. Very creative way to send the message. Always good to see you, Raj. Thank you. Delight, Rita. And there are some new developments to tell you about in a rape case that sparked outrage